possible through the network from source to the sink. So here is the network. So here the source is S and sink is T. And initially in the algorithm also we have mentioned that initially we shall consider flow is equal to 0. Now here we are having some integer value by some integer value. The second component will be denoting the capacity and the first component will be denoting the flow. That means from the source to the target to the sink the flow values are 0 initially. So that is why the net flow is 0. So from here we are starting the algorithm. We know that in our algorithm we have mentioned three uh, lines we are having statements we are having first statement was flow is equal to 0 and the second statement was whenever we are finding some augmenting path from the source to the sink then we shall go on computing the flow of that particular path and that flow will be added with the main flow. So now let me select one augmenting path. So at first we are selecting a path say S, S A D T. Yes, the arrows are indicating that I can easily flow. So S A D T. So that is the first augmenting path we are taking. So I am writing the same here. Path number 1 S A D and T. Source to the sink. And here you see, here the capacity is at 10, 8. We are having 10 again. So 10, 8 and 10. So here the bottleneck capacity will be 8. So the bottleneck capacity will be 8. Now let me uh, add this flow through this path. So it will become 8, 8, 8 and the flow will become 8. So that is one augmenting path we have selected. Now in the second diagram we shall uh, write the updated values. Okay. In the same diagram, I could have done the updates because that will not be easier for you to understand. So that's why I've drawn the same graph instance for multiple number of times. Okay. So now in the second graph, there's a graph number two. I'm going for updates. So that is the updated version. Now we are uh, we are considering another augmented path. But before going before going for selection of another augmented path. Here you see it is having a capacity left as 2 also known as the residual capacity. It is having the residual capacity is equal to 0 because flow is equal to 8 and capacity is equal to 8. If you subtract flow from capacity that is 8 minus 8 you are getting 0 and here the residual capacity is 2 because capacity minus flow if you go on subtracting 10 minus 8 you are getting 2. So here the residual capacity is 2, here it is 0 and here the residual capacity is 2 again. So this particular path is capable to carry another flow value of 2. Okay. Now the next path we are considering here, next augmenting path is S C D T. Let us consider this one. I am selecting this path very arbitrarily. So now here you see for the rest we are having these zeros. Okay. Now see here the capacity is 10, capacity is 9 and the capacity here is 2. So here the capacity is 2 because the I should not consider the capacity, I should consider the residual capacity. So that is 2. So now we are selecting the path like this one. Here the residual capacity is equal to 2. Now let me proceed. See, here I am giving this 2 this one is 2 and this one will become 10 and the flow will become 10 in that case. The flow will become 10 in that case. So now it has been done in this way. Okay. So the flow has become 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. So now let me do these updates in the next instance of the graph. So I have completed my operations. So now just see what whatever you have done. From this very particular instance number 2, this graph has got updated in the instance number 3 accordingly. I have just copied the values. Now, next path we are selecting that is your S, C, D, A, B, T. So S, C, D, A, B, T. So now what we are doing? In our earlier videos, we have discussed that we can select this augmenting path through those edges which are non 
full forward edges like this one. This is a non-full forward edge, non-full. Why? Because here the capacity is 2, flow is 2, so the residual capacity is 8. So that is why it is non-full forward edge. And another one is non-zero backward edge. So here you see the capacity, residual capacity is 0. But it is, if you consider this path in this way, there is a backward edge and that is the non, that is a non-zero. It is, yes, it is non-zero. It is 8. So, we shall select this particular path in this way. So, now let me discuss this one into details. Okay. Now, what are the path we are selecting? I am just writing that one here. SCDABT. SCDABT. So, what is the path? So, that is the S C D A B T. So, now let me find out the bottleneck factor. Here the value is 8, here the value is 7, here the value is 4 and here this value is 10 again. So, I think 4 is our bottleneck factor. So, now we are going to this. So, bottleneck capacity will be 4. So, now let me update this particular graph, see what happens. So, I have done the updations. See, here the bottleneck capacity is 4. So, that is why 2 plus 4, 6 will be there. 2 plus 4, 6 will be there. And then there is a reverse path. So, it is having, uh, having the non-zero uh, flow here. So, 8 minus 4, 4 is there. 0 plus 4, 4 is there. And then 0 plus 4, 4 is there. In this way, we are having and here this particular flow will become 14. Now, see in the earlier video we have mentioned that each and every vertex other than this source and sink should have the same inflow and outflow. Just see here we are having this inflow to this node A, vertex A is 8. You see it has got distributed to 4 and 4. Here it is having the inflow of 4. So, it is having the outflow of 4. Here it is having the inflow of 6. So, that is why this inflow of 6 we are having and this particular inflow of 6 has been distributed. See, inflow of 6 has got distributed in this way, 10. Why 10? Because 4 is coming from this particular path. So, this particular node is having inflow 4 plus 6 plus 4, that is 10 and 10 is going to T. So, each and every node other than this S and T, they are having the same inflow and outflow. So, that has to be maintained. So, for the instance number 3 to the instance number 4, let me do the updates here. Then you shall select another augmented path. So, I have done the updates. So, now this is the final uh, graph after the augmenting path number 3. Now, let us consider another augmenting path. Now, here we will be considering the path like S A D B T. I am considering this one. Why? See, here the residual capacity is 2. Here this residual capacity we are having it is 4, here this residual capacity is 6. So, this particular age we did not use earlier and here this residual capacity we are having is 6 again. So, that is why I can proceed in this way. Okay. Now, see what will be the bottleneck capacity? I think the bottleneck capacity will be 2 here because it is 2, it is 4, it is 6, it is 6 again. So, here the bottleneck capacity will be 2. So, now let me write the augmenting path there. Now, see, I have written the augmented path. So, now I am going for the implementation. So, 2 will be added, S A, then I should come to D. So, 2 will be added, it is coming to D and then it is going for D to B. So, 2 will be added and from B to T, so 2 will be added and this particular flow will become 16. So, in this way, we have suggested the fourth augmenting path. Now, let us try whether any other augmenting path is possible or not. So, let me do the updates and that particular instance number 4 of the diagram. See. So, in this way, I have done the, I have completed this particular update. Uh, can we get any kind of uh, extra another augmenting path? Here you see, it is totally filled up. It is 10 capacity and 10 is the flow. Here we are having some residual capacity of 4. 
so it is coming down here so now here we are having a residual capacity of 3 and then we are having this d so now we are going for b here the path is completely filled up so i am going for b so here the residual residual capacity is 4 and here this residual capacity is 4 again so i can select another path like this so let me write the path and here the capacity will be here 4 and i think it is a minimum one that is a 3 so bottleneck capacity will be 3 now let me apply this one in this particular graph see so i have done the calculations accordingly now see so in this way i have got the updates in this particular graph can i suggest any other augmenting path check here path is not possible because it is having the value 10 and 10 here one capacity is left flow is 9 and capacity here is uh, uh, 1 10 so that means residual capacity is 1 so here it is completely filled up i cannot have this backward why because here this particular flow value is non zero is false it is zero so its flow value is not is not uh, non zero it is zero so that's why the backward uh, okay, backward movement is not possible so now so that's why it has been blocked it has been blocked from here it has been blocked so i cannot suggest any other augmenting uh, path through this particular graph so now i think the answer will be 19 so thus we have got this maximum flow for this network graph is 19 so in this way the values can get calculated so all the instances are there in front in front of us so there is a first a suggested augmented path after that then the second suggested third fourth and there is a fifth one in this way we have solved this problem so let me mark these paths for the better understanding to you i have marked all the paths in the all instances of this particular graph so that you can get that which path has been selected in which instance so this is the solution in this way you can go for the solution here the solution value maximum flow value is 19 possible for this given network so in the next video we shall show you how to calculate the complexity of this particular algorithm so please watch the next video because that video is in the continuation of this one and thanks for watching this one